Hey, hey, and welcome back to another learning Java 2D game programming video. So in our last video, we made the UI text element, which is a UI component inside of a UI container, and it displays text. And if you read the description of the last video, you will have seen that when I Googled the link for the font that I used, which was Arcade Classic, uh, I saw that it is only free for personal use. So just to be on the safe side, we are switching to another font, which is free for all use, which is called Joysticks. And it is very similar, as you can see, it is also a pixely font. And as an added bonus, it has some more special characters and special letters, which is good for me, because in Sweden, we have some extra letters to our alphabet, which this supports, awesome. So I know I said that I would go on to display some useful information on the screen, but there's just one more thing I want to do first. So I realized that I'd like to be able to align my UI containers on my screen. So of course we could have set the positions of our UI containers manually if we would want it over here or over here or wherever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it simple, but I'm still going to be aligning. So I'm going to have three positions for each axis. It will be start, it will be center, it will be end. So that means that there are nine possible positions to place your containers. And to start with, that is enough for me. So let's get to it. Go into your UI package and create an alignment class. So inside of this, I want to create uh, an enum. So let's make an enum, call it position, which will be start, center, and end. And after that, we want two positions, which will be the vertical position and the horizontal position. All right, let's generate a constructor. Awesome. And let's generate some getters. And I just realized that it put vertical first, which I don't want. So, oh, it's good because I wrote them in that order. That was silly of me. So in every other place, we always start with the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis. So let's do that here as well. Just to be consistent, we can just reorder those. It says that it can be final. So yes, sure, let's make it final. All right, I think that's enough for to start with. So let's go into our UI container. Ooh, don't know if you can hear that. Sounds like an ambulance. All right, inside of our UI container, let's just first give it an alignment. And now, in order to calculate where we should be on our screen, we need to know the screen size or the window size and currently we do not know that so the thing is since this ui container is also a ui component it will work differently depending on where it is used so if it's directly inside of the state i want to be able to align it on our screen but if it's inside of another ui container acting as a ui component then we don't want to align it because then it will depend on which direction its parent container is aligning them in. So the parent container is going to be aligning the children or putting them out in whatever direction that it should. Um, so yeah, that's a side effect of this UI container being basically two things. But maybe we could make it more general in the future uh, but let's keep it simple for now. So just get the size of our window and store that inside of here, which means that now we need to take that in. So let's say this dot window size is equal to window size. And let's also give it a default alignment. So new alignment and let's give it Let's just start at start. <laughs> so this will be top left. So at first you won't see any difference. 
All right, having done that, when we calculate position, which we did here, let's do some mapping. And hopefully we only need to do that here. So let's see. First of all, let's get a position out and call this horizontal, just so we don't have to be doing these long getters. Maybe it's not that bad. Let's actually not, let's keep it simple. Let's instead say int x and that will be padding get left to start with. And now if our horizontal um, alignment is start, we don't wanna do anything. But we, if it's something else, let's create some if statements for those. So if um, alignment get horizontal equals, and let's say position center, right? Sorry, because then it thought it was our regular position. There we go, alignment.position.center. So if we're looking at center, then what do we wanna do? We want our X to be at the window size dot get width divided by two. And now we're at the exact center, but since our objects always start at top left, we need to also subtract the uh, our size get width by two. So hopefully that will do it. Now, if the alignment get horizontal equals position end, now we want our X to be the entire window size dot get width to the right. But we also need to take away our entire width um, since we start all the way to the left when we draw. But this isn't enough, because what if we have a margin to the right? So let's also add that. All right, I think that will do for that. So let's do the same for the Y, and you know the deal, just flip all the things. So get top is where we're gonna start. So if alignment get vertical equals center, then we want our y to be the entire height divided by two, so the middle, but also our own height back divided by two, so that should center it. And also if the vertical alignment is end, then we want our y to be the entire height back, or sorry, first the entire height and then our height back but also the margin get bottom, if we have a bottom margin. Now we need to set our position. So position is equal to a new position of the X and the Y. So hopefully, hopefully that will do. And we will check that out. <laughs> we need to go to our date. So right now we're not saving the window size, but depending on when we're using, when we are creating, maybe we don't have to yet. Let's just toss the window size in here, window size for now. If we need to save it later, we will, but we don't need to yet. So now we take in a window size and so we can pass it to our vertical container and we actually have to go in here and create a construction constructor matching super, which will give it this. Let's do the same for the horizontal container. All right. So hopefully this should work. I'm not sure if I've forgotten anything. So right now we're not gonna see any difference, of course, since it's starting at uh, start, start, right? So it looks the same and it should. Um, but if we change this to center, that would be the horizontal axis. It is being centered in the horizontal axis. Awesome, exactly what we wanted. Uh, let's do the end as well. See, 
awesome this is exactly what we wanted so I'm just gonna make a setter for that alt insert make a setter for the alignment go back to your game state I'm just gonna for fun uh, copy this container and just call it container end and just to let's see container end container end and also for container end let's set alignment create a new alignment and I'm gonna put that at uh, position end but for this position I'll still use start so it will be a top right corner and for the first container I'm gonna say hey hey which is Swedish for well hello <laughs> and for the other one for the container 2 I'm gonna add sorry container end was what we called it container end I'm gonna call hey do which means goodbye let's check that out oh no why didn't that work because I did not add it of course silly me now let's see what it does awesome hey 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 doa and now you can have stuff here 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 so with that said drum roll Hey, do. 